Here we have a plasma cam go torch. It had plasma cam design edge software so it ran at a fixed height and had no Z readout. So my little hand crank Z axis is equally cutting edge. Over here we have a standard 20 pin motherboard connector, power supply, two gecko drives, breakout board, and Mach 3 with a 4 inch 36 point star running 150 inches per minute. If you hear gears clattering, plasma cam rides on the gear rack. The geckos were almost plug and play. Even at 375 inches per minute with 50 inches per second per second acceleration, the drives and motors are not even warm. At slow speeds, like 15 inches per minute the encoders have just over 2,000 steps per inch so it runs and sounds a lot like 10 micro step stepper motors overall I'm liking the servos a lot more than steppers I'll be adding a servo drive on a new z-axis and a fourth axis all for less than it would cost to upgrade design edge to basic my z-axis will actually hold a router securely and with Mach 3 I can do whatever I want on multiple computers and machines at no additional cost GoTorch promised me savings without limiting my choices no thanks to them but that might be feasible without them. Mach 3 does multiple axes, touch offs, edge and center finding, even on pockets and posts, and round things. It has automatic tool length offsets. It can measure the exact tool length and my favorite scripting for ultimate flexibility I will make a build thread somewhere on how to retrofit plasma cams